Hey everyone, I'm Marina. Welcome to my shop update for Pineapple Yarn. The shop update will be February 21st, this Friday, at 8 p.m. Eastern Time at pineappleyarn.com. Thanks for joining this preview, and I hope you love looking at all the yarn and fiber. <laughs> so I have just been really trying to combat the moody dark grays around here, and I did that by dyeing all new colorways that include lots of neon. <laughs> so if you're a neon lover, you will love this update. The first, uh, the first colorway I wanna show you is called Pacific Dreams. This is a new one. It has some really pretty um, kind of like neon melon orangey colors and pinks along with some yellows. And I also put some earthy toned speckles in there this felt very West Coast to me, and so that's why I named it Pacific Dreams. <laughs> so that will be in the shop. And I do want to point out, I will not have a ton, like a huge quantity of every colorway. So if you see something you like, I would highly recommend uh, putting an alarm on and getting to the shop early. The reason being, I really do try to dye a, a fair amount of each colorway just so everyone can have their choice. But with new colorways, I'm just not really sure how people are going to respond. And so I usually dye a smaller quantity. If, if, I, you know, if I have a great response to these, obviously I'll definitely dye more and put them in the shop. So the next colorway is called Atlantic Dreams. And this is what it looks like. It's just a really beautiful, bright, happy blend of turquoises and purples and pinks along with these deeper greens. I thought this one was just so, so pretty and I love the balance between kind of this super warm, these warm tones and these cooler tones. And this one has some tonal speckles um, as well as some yellow speckles here and there. So it kind of just adds some interest to this color, which I love. So that's Atlantic Dreams. And then the final new colorway that I dyed up this week, I named it Color Box, and I absolutely love it. It is such a punchy, fun, lighthearted blend of these neon melon colors and pinks and aquas, obviously along with some neon yellows and greens. This is such a combination of colors, and I love the way it knit up. I'll have to show you that but it also has some um, tonal speckles on it. I really, really loved this colorway. I just thought it turned out so fun. I was really happy with it. So those are the three new colorways that I will be having in the shop this Friday. I really love all of them and could not be happier with how they turned out. I do have one tonal, a new tonal, that I'll be adding to the shop, and this is called Coral Conch, and I hope that you get an accurate reading on camera with how gorgeous and neon this is. It's so beautiful. This is a shade that is very close to neon coral, but it is more saturated, and I've been wanting to do a more saturated version of neon coral, which is one of my favorite colors. I absolutely love it, but this one might be edging out neon coral <laughs> because I really love it. And it's just so warm and cheery and I feel like it would be such a flattering shade on so many different skin tones. Um, it's not too saturated and while it's warm, I just, I don't know, I feel like it would be really, really flattering. So for what it's worth, my opinion. I'm definitely not an expert, but I do like color, so that helps. But this is called Coral Conch. And then I will be having a couple of um, tonals that are just some leftovers from custom orders I had this week. And so I will have a couple of my Cook Pine colorway in Lonnie DK and then Pink Hibiscus on Lonnie DK as well. So. A very limited quantity, but I did want to give you a heads up that those will be put into the shop. Now, before I forget, I do want to show you 
the samples I knit up. <laughs> These are the samples of the new colorways that I am going to be having in the shop update. This one right here, this is how Pacific Dreams knits up. This is about eight stitches an inch on a 60 slot cylinder, so 60 stitches around. And I really wish I could get it so it's not blowing out. Such a fun colorway. It is so saturated and bright. The next colorway I have knit up here is Colorbox. Isn't that fun? I think that's so pretty how that's all knit up. There's so many colors in here. I think they work together really, really well too. And then I have Atlantic Dreams, and that's how this is how this knits up. So, so pretty. So I don't think I've shown those knit samples before. I have, um, I put them in all of my photos in the shop. And I wanted to show you though, I actually had enough time this week to get this knit sample done before I filmed this. So I am super excited to show it to you. I also uh, will have a new kit in the shop this week and this is how it will come packaged. It is called Pink Lemonade, and I cannot tell you how much I love it. I think it's so pretty. So let me go ahead and show you and give you a close-up of everything that's included in this kit. First off is the adorable project bag, and this is a smaller size project bag. This is great for a smaller project or uh, maybe a pair of socks, and I know a lot of you are sock knitters out there, and so this is a really nice size project bag for that. And it is made from the cutest pink lemonade fabric. How adorable is that? I just think it's so cheery and fun for the spring. And it is, the fabric that it's printed on is just this, it has a really nice slight texture, which I really love. And of course I've added my pineapple enamel charm, which I do on all of my bags, because that's what you do when you're pineapple yarn, right? <laughs> it has this cute pull tab right here. And also uh, it has a box bottom, so that gives you some more room. I'll show you the lining. It has this really pretty pale pink zipper. The lining is this super fun, yellow with ovals all over it. So I thought that that was just a fun finish to that. And I was thinking too, I mean, how fun would this bag be for just holding some things like hand lotion or your chapstick or things like that. I think this would be so fun to put in your beach bag or keep it in your car. This would be really fun. So that's the project bag. And then this is the coordinating yarn, which let me show you these two together. How, how cute are these together? Oh my goodness. I was so happy how this yarn turned out because it matches perfectly to this bag. The base is my Gold Nani Twist, which is a gold Stellina. I thought it highly appropriate for the vibe that was I was feeling with the project bags. And then I put in these beautiful, like, kind of dirty yellow and gold colors along with a really soft pink and soft speckles too. I was incredibly happy with how this turned out because I just really wanted it to be light and fun like this project bag. And if those weren't cute enough, let me show you how cute this charm is. I found this coordinating charm and couldn't be happier with it. How sweet is that charm? I think it's so perfect for this kit. 
and I put it on my large lever back clasp. So not only can you use it as a progress keeper, you can close it and use it as a stitch marker as well. So it's super versatile. I've really been loving these clasps lately. So I'll probably be using these clasps from now on because I really love them. So that is the pink lemonade kit. I will have a pretty small amount of these, a fairly small amount. Um, they, my kits usually do get sold out. So another heads up. Um, I wish I could keep things like this in stock, but they are labor intensive. And so I guess that's kind of what makes them so special. But um, I wanted to also point out, I did dye up a couple of extra skeins of this pink lemonade yarn. And so if you're looking to make a multi-skein project and you want matching skeins, um, just letting you know that there will be a couple of these add-on skeins available. So the next thing that I will be putting in the shop this Friday is some new spinning fiber. These are going to be end of the day colorways. So um, for those of you who aren't familiar, end of the day is my non-repeatable line of colorways. I use all the leftover dye from my dye session from that week. And instead of pouring it down the drain, I use it to make really interesting colorways. So, um, all of these will be end of the day, number 32, 33, 34, and 35. I have four this week. So this will be the first one. This is just a really great blend of kind of rusty oranges, pinks, blues. There you can see the pinks and the purples on the other side. And these are a merino bamboo blend. So you can really see the bamboo, all that white. It isn't dyed when I dye it with acid dye, so it's just a really beautiful accent. So that's the first one. And these are all about 100 grams each. They're all over 100 grams, but I always make sure that there's at least 100 grams in each bag. This is the next one. This is a really pretty blend of all kinds of pinks, neons, warm kind of peachy pinks and then we have these um i have some tan and some gold so i think this one would spin up so so pretty so there's that one the next one i have is um kind of fun and crazy it has some kind of like indigo purples and pinks along with some peaches, yellows. I would love to see how this one spun up. I really like this one. And then the last one I have is just so fun and bright. It has these beautiful bright greens and purples and pinks along with some yellows and tans. This is also kind of a crazy one. <laughs> I love dyeing fiber. It's a lot more labor intensive than a superwash yarn just because these aren't superwash and fiber isn't spun up into yarn yet. It really does require a delicate touch and I love I love spinning and I love fiber and I love dyeing it and so I hope to dye it more often in the future but for now this is what I have in the shop this week. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me for this shop update preview. I hope to see you for the shop update, which again is Friday, February 21st at 8 p.m. Eastern time at pineappleyarn.com. And if you'd like to sign up for my newsletter, I send it out every two weeks and it has another preview of these items as well as some chit chat going on. And so you can sign up for my newsletter. It's at the top of the page at on my homepage, pineappleyarn.com. You just enter your email address. It's super simple. But until next time, happy knitting and crafting, and I will see you later. Bye.